Infiniti Q301.6 DCT Automatic Review Can a smooth shifting automatic gearbox help Infiniti's Q30 to compete with its premium hatchback rivals? Verdict 3 Star Variety is the spice of life, but adding more choice to the Infiniti Q30 range has done little to boost its appeal. This new automatic gearbox makes the hatchback feel lethargic, while the disappointing kit list and high price do it no favors either. It remains a refined and comfortable motorway cruiser, but there'll be more fun on offer if you stick with one of the Infiniti's desirable and capable rivals, and you'll have more money come resale time, too. In a market littered with talented premium cars, Infiniti has so far struggled to find its feet. But the addition of an Audi A3 fighting family hatchback seemed just what it needed to take Europe by storm. Based on the Mercedes A-Class, the Q30 has been on sale almost a year, and comes with the choice of two petrol and two diesel engines as well as front or four-wheel drive. In an effort to cover more bases, Infinity now offers its entry-level petrol engine with a 7-speed dual-clutch automatic gearbox and we've driven it here for the first time. Commanding a sizable 3,050 pounds premium, specking the auto is a hefty jump over the manual 1.6 TS reasonable 20,550 pounds list price. You get the same mediocre kit list including a 7-inch touchscreen infotainment system, parking sensors, and aircon but there's no SAT NAV or DAB radio. Mercedes A-Class Review For those goodies, you'll need to add the 2,270 pounds business pack, which also boasts dual zone climate control, automatic wipers, and cruise control. That puts our test car on a PAR with a BMW 118iM Sport Auto, which is faster, more frugal and comes with navigation as standard. The BMW has far stronger residuals, too. The driving experience isn't enough to claw back what the Q30 loses on value for money, either. The new automatic gearbox feel lethargic and unrewarding, while flooring the throttle reveals a harsh and abrasive soundtrack that encourages smoother, more sedate progress. The gearbox changes cogs quickly and efficiently, however, and will hold onto the revs for longer if you select Sport from the Drive Mode selector on the center console. Best Hatchbacks 2016 On paper it'll do 0 to 62 miles per hour half a second quicker than the manual car, 8.9 SVS 9.4 S, but in reality it doesn't feel like there's much in it. You need to work it harder than you do either of the diesel engines, detracting from the Q30S relaxed nature. A Mercedes A200 gets the same engine and gearbox combination, but is more than a second faster, 7.8S, to 62 mph thanks to its lighter body. What is impressive, however, is the Infiniti's high-speed refinement. The 18-inch wheels and chunky tires on our SE car ensured road and wind noise were kept to a minimum, while the thrashy petrol engine fades into the background at a cruise. The ride is soft, too, making light work of long motorway drives. It's so good in fact, that you'll have to keep a close eye on your speed, as the needle can quickly creep up beyond the 70 miles per hour national limit. There's a small advantage in choosing the automatic when it comes to running costs and fuel economy, but the difference is so marginal that few drivers will see any real benefit. The auto will return a claimed 48.7 mpg, compared with 47.1 mpg for the manual, while CO2 emissions of 134g slash km mean both cars fall into VED bandy. Company car drivers see a single percentage point improvement in BIC, 23, percenter, however. An Audi A3 Sportback 1.4 TFC S-Tronic should return closer to 60 mpg. Key Specs Price, 23,600 pounds. Engine, 1.6 liter turbo petrol. Power slash torque, 154 bhp slash 250 nm. Transmission, 7 speed dual clutch auto, front wheel drive. 0 to 62 miles per hour, 8.9 seconds. Top speed, 134 miles per hour. Fuel economy slash CO2, 
48.7 mpg slash 134g slash km. On sale, now.